Lights, camera, action. We will start with the include. Then we will define the maximum length of the array. Let's say that our array can hold only 200 elements. Then we will define our function print array. It will take only two elements the array that we want to print and the number of its elements. So the function print the content of an array. Array, the array is pre-printed, and n, the number of elements of that array. So let's define again our function. So the function will simply loop through the element of the array and print each element. We will declare first our variable that we will use for the loop int e, then the loop, so we will use only the function printf and the content of each box of the array Now we can define our main function. We will have to declare the array with the maximum length. And we will initialize it with random elements. We will also have to declare the size or the exact number of elements of the array. Since we have five elements, size array will be initialized with five. Then we will call the print function. My array as the first parameter and size array the seventh one. Here I forgot to I or I added the int Declaration. Now we can run our function. We will start with the include. Then we will define the maximum length of the array. Let's say that our array can hold only 200 elements then we will define our function 
print array it will take only two elements the array that we want to print and the number of its elements so the function print the content of an array array the array is pre-printed and n the number of elements of that array so let's define again our function So the function will simply loop through the element of the array and print each element. We will declare first our variable that we will use for the loop int e then the loop so we will use only the function print f and the content of each box of the array Now we can define our main function. We will have to declare the array with the maximum length. And we will initialize it with random elements. We will also have to declare the size or the exact number of elements of the array. Since we have five elements size array will be initialized with five then we will call the print function my array as the first parameter and size array the seventh one here I forgot to I or I added the int Declaration. Now we can run our function. We see here other, that all the values are con here. I forgot to add the backslash n in the print function. So here are the five elements of the array. In this tutorial, I will show you how to print the elements of an array using the C language. Let's say that you have an array filled with some values. So to print these values, you have only to loop to this array since the indexing of the array starts from zero. And knowing the number of elements of the array, to print it, you have to loop from the index 0 to uh, the exact number of elements already in the array, minus 1. The code was written in C using the journey editor and tested on Ubuntu.
Now we are going to enhance a uh, little bit the the printing of our array. For example, you can add a sentence here saying that this is the printing of the content of the array. You can add an underline here also. Uh, here we are going to print with the content of the array the index of each element. So we will give two arguments, the index and the content of the array at that index. And then we will print again a line after printing the content of the array. You can see next to each element the index. Uh, we can enhance also the printing of these values to start at the same column. Uh, since we have only 200 elements, the index is the maximum value of the index will be uh, 199. So we will have only three digits at maximum. And uh, in some way, we set the maximum number of digits of our printed value of the array. In fact, even if the value is greater than that, it will be printed anyway. The 7 must be written before the format. And here, the printing is a little bit more enhanced. There's only one issue with our code, is the way the values of the array are printed. So, in the following, I will show you how to enhance this printing. Now we are going to enhance a little bit the the printing of our array for example you can add a sentence here saying that this is the printing of the content of the array you can add an underline here also Uh, here we are going to print with the content of the array the index of each element. So we will give two arguments, the index and the content of the array at that index. And then we will print again a line after printing the content of the array. You can see next to each element the index. Uh, we can enhance also the printing of these values to start at the same column. Uh, since we have only 200 elements, the index is the maximum value of the index will be uh, 199. So we will have only three digits at maximum. And uh, in some way, we set the maximum number of digits of our printed value of the array. In fact, even if the value is greater than that, it will be printed anyway. The 
7 sp written before the format and here the printing is a little bit more enhanced I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any question about the content, please let me know in the comment below. Bye!